Close to Badaling, the Great Wall of China extends majestically across misty mountains. It is the largest man-made structure in the world. It is believed that the original sections of the Great Wall were built in 888 BC. At that time, the wall consisted of compressed clay and palisades. The wall was erected in order to protect the country from invasion from the north. In the 3rd century BC, the Chinese Emperor Shi Huangdi ordered the completion of further sections, thus creating an extremely long continuous wall. Several hundred thousand workers were forced to work on the wall, which claimed many lives during its construction. The gigantic wall represented the division of two very different cultures. On one side, the Central Asian nomads, and on the other, the highly developed civilization of the emerging Chinese Empire. As legend has it, a magician advised the Emperor Shi Huangdi that the Great Wall would only be completed if one, meaning 10,000 people, were buried within the wall. Because of the many victims and deaths that occurred during its creation, the Great Wall is also known as the world's largest cemetery and the Wall of Tears. Owing to the increased threat of hostility from the north, the subsequent Han dynasty extended the wall to a length of almost 10,000 kilometers. With the fall of the Han dynasty, the wall fell into decay. Today's impressive Great Wall arose from a later royal epoch. Under the Ming Dynasty in the 14th century, the reconstruction of a 2,000 kilometer stretch of the wall began. The work lasted more than 150 years. The new wall 
wall reached from the Bohai Gulf to the Yellow River and was built to defend the country from invading Mongolian forces. This reconstruction replaced the old clay walls with bricks and solid rocks. Its average height was approximately 8 metres and the base of the wall was around 6.5 metres thick. The wall is the subject of many myths and legends. It was believed that the Great Wall was visible from the Moon, a fact now confirmed by the exploration of space. Some of its towers reach a height of 12 metres. They were the soldiers' living quarters and also played an essential role for communicating messages. The advance of hostile troops was signalled with large fires and cannon shot. The alarm and any relevant military information was then communicated from tower to tower until it reached a fortress close to the capital of Beijing. During the course of time, this seemingly infinite wall also became a secure and important means of transportation and trade. The top of the wall was wide enough for five horses to travel alongside each other. Because of political wrangling, even this massive wall could not withstand attack by hostile Mongolian forces under Genghis Khan, as well as further enemies. The Great Wall had an additional advantage other than purely defence. It strengthened national feeling and also China's identity. The Great Wall of China, a wonder of the world within the Middle Empire that continues to fascinate its visitors with unforgettable impressions and picturesque views as the golden sun disappears behind the mountains.